Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, as you can see by the introductory video, I'll be replacing this Chevy hitch. On the top, we've got this uh, engineered rust hitch by uh, Chevy, and on the bottom, we've got a pure steel hitch from Kurt. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be replacing the hitch, but more than just replacing the hitch, I'm going to be uh, discussing the differences between the two and um, why a lot of uh, hitches on the road and in fact mine was uh, is not legal and uh, not um, rated the way it needs to be. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So you can see here this is pretty loose, up and down and forward to back. I don't know what this hitch has been through. But you can see this is pretty waller, waller down. Here's a closer look. Okay, we need to take this off. Really simple. Just tell them some self-tapping screws. Okay, we've got two bolts here that hold it on to the pumper. This is a 17 millimeter. Go ahead and roll the floor jack under here for support. On the top here you can see the Chevy hitch and the rating. Uh, the hitch rating is going to be separate from the vehicle rating so you always want to make sure you're uh, in accordance with the vehicle rating. Uh, this uh, vehicle hitch is rated for 7,500 pounds or uh, 12,000 pounds uh, weight distribution. And then uh, uh, on the right here we've got the uh, the tongue weight capacity. So we've got a 1,000 pound tongue capacity or with a weight distributing hitch, you got 1,500 pound rating. So let's take a look at the Kurt uh, extra duty uh, hitch. So on the right we have this Kurt rating and this is rated for uh, 16,000 pounds without a rate distributing hitch and um, 2,400 pounds. So quite a big difference. So on this, the factory one, we're looking at 1,000 versus 2,400 and we're looking at 7,500 versus 16,000 pounds. Um, and then with the weight distribution hitch, we're bumping that up to 17,000 pounds on this Kurt and the factory one only was able to do 12,000 pounds. Again, 2,400 pounds here with uh, tongue weights uh, versus the 1500 pounds. So a significant improvement on this Kurt uh, and that's why we're we're going with this one. Next we're going to look at these tow ball ratings. The ball I've been using is rated for 6,000 pounds while this new hitch is rated for 15,000 pounds. Pretty significant difference there as well. In addition to your ball rating you've got your hitch rating. This is a draw tight hitch and its rating is still here on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to read but it's got a 500 pound tongue weight and a 5,000 pound uh, gross vehicle weight. So again, uh, not up to specifications what I've been towing. I've got a 7,000 pound enclosed trailer and this is a heavy duty truck and I'm towing uh, really a, a trailer that's less than uh, what it's capable of um, but the the hitch here is not is not capable for what I'm doing. Uh, one more thing with this one, you can see we've got a, a big chunk of steel welded on the bottom of this tubing which is open. And this tubing's been doing a job but it is getting rusty. Uh, just like this Chevy hitch, the Chevy hitch is getting rusty. Uh, the, the end is starting to, to angle down. Uh, I don't think this is rated for what it says right here anymore. So when I ordered this new hitch, I ordered this uh, tow ball and hitch. And you can see here what it's rated. This is a 2 inch drop, 1 inch rise, uh, rated at 17,000 pounds or 2,550 pound tongue weight. So uh, more than substantial for our needs and this is a solid core. Uh, quite a bit heavier. As with this Kurt Hitch, it's quite a bit heavier. Um, but this is going to build, do all, all the towing needs that my truck's capable of, and then some. This is a Class 5 Hitch. Um, with this Kurt uh, ball and hitch, I did notice that this little sticker thing that's on here is peeling up. I tried putting it back down, and it just keeps uh, curling back up. That is a little bit disappointing. Um, but I didn't get this for the sticker. It's nice to have that rating on there and be able to see. 
um, but that sticker probably is going to fall off. One thing that always drives me crazy on a lot of these vehicles, uh, the new Chevy trucks, their um, chain hooks are really difficult to get into. Uh, this uh, chain hook is definitely intended to be used for a, a larger capacity, as with uh, the towing capacity, 17,000 pounds. Um, we'll have to see how well this works with my chains and how well they hook up. Um, this big lip might make it hard to get my chains on there. That is one thing if you're looking for stuff as important to look at. Um, so let's go into this Kurt hitch and why I chose it over other options. So you can see here I purchased this at eTrailer.com and they had a, a variety of options available on their website. I can't recall what other brands were available on eTrailer.com but I ultimately chose the Kurt um, because looking at their photos of the installed hitches by other users this one fit the best uh, closest to factory. It tucked up uh, high and tight uh, just like I wanted and it wasn't going to hang down or drag like some of the other ones looked like they might. Um, it also was on sale, had a pretty good discount on it. Um, all in for the new hitch and the new ball, I think it was uh, 300 or 350 uh, shipped to my door. I uh, can't beat that. Um, and you know, this is just peace of mind and confidence. I was really getting nervous about this, this hitch when I bought the truck used. It was one of the things that I knew I was going to have to fix. Uh, seeing how wallered out uh, these, these holes were, I knew that it had been used and abused and, and uh, needed to be replaced. This does come with all the necessary hardware, so um, we'll do a recap and summary after we're done installing uh, any issues I ran into. Um, but with all the reviews that I looked at, it looks like they should go together pretty quickly, pretty easily. Taking off the hitch took me 15 minutes. Throwing on this new one shouldn't take much longer. So without further ado, let's uh, get to installing this new hitch on the truck. We got a hitch weight at 61 pounds, professional install 30 minutes, novice install 60 minutes, install notes, no drilling required, lower spare tire, I don't even think I'll be doing that. I did weigh this hitch on our home scale and according to it, the new hitch was 58.6 pounds, the old hitch was 39.2 pounds, which is a 19.4 pound difference. Torque all hardware to 110 foot pounds, torque the stock hardware to 126 foot pounds. Overall the install went fairly well, um, used the floor jack to lift it up into place, Here's that Klein Tools uh, battery pack and flashlight. Help you guys see a little bit better. Uh, put the furthest forward bolts in first to kind of hold it and support it. Uh, put all the bolts through loosely, obviously with Loctite. And then once everything was loose, I secured the hitch um, kind of front to back, left to right. Made sure everything was kind of square. And then I used the impact to tighten everything down. And then I followed it up with the torque wrench. There we go. 110 foot pounds. The factory bolt 126. Now, before you use your new ball, you should always grease it first. I've just got some multi purpose grease. This is motorcycle grease. Um, anything really will do. We'll just take, take a little bit out of here. And then the top doesn't need it so much. Um, that's why they label it there. Um, so the ball doesn't ride there. The ball actually rides on this top uh, half of the, the round part. I usually just do the top half, that's good, and then it kind of gets uh, rubbed into the rest of the, the hitch. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, clean this one off. I ran this one dry for uh, several months, and you can see the damage that was incurred uh, by doing so. I bought this Houdini to clean uh, my locks. You can see my other videos. Um, but this stuff actually works great as a grease remover. So you can see here on the sides, or that's uh, rubbed through the chrome plating or whatever they've got on here. Um, so that's kind of the damage that happens. And also you've got all this pitting in the top of the ball. Um, like I said, that's usually where the pressure is. That's where it rides. Okay, here you can see how much this old hitch was sagging. Now we've got the new hitch installed uh, with a two inch drop, which is what I had before. Um, this ball is too high, um, probably by an inch, inch and a half. Um, so quite a quite a difference. Hopefully my drop is not incorrect now. This is my upgraded uh, trailer drop hitch. I've actually found a new solution for this. I'm gonna do a new video on, but this has been working the way I've got it. I've got this jack extended up on four inch uh, 
pipe nipples. Uh, just to elevate that above so that the bottom of the jack is tucked up underneath there. So I can pull this up tight. This is what I was worried about. This is really hard to get over here. But it works. We gotta figure out wiring too. And here's here's another issue we're gonna need to address. And that's gonna be in an upcoming trailer video. Here's a look at the underside. Really heavy duty bar. I just zip tied that on real quick. So we've got the factory bolt up there. We've got a new bolt, new bolt. Oh, and here's the old, this is the factory location. This is the new location, a little bit further back on the frame. The install process was uh, very simple and easy. Uh, a lot easier than I expected. I didn't even have to remove the spare tire. The only thing that got away in the way a little bit was the exhaust on the muffler side, um, but with an extension, not a problem at all either there. I do have to come back and install a uh, place to hook up my wiring. I've already ordered that from e-trailer, um, as well as I've got another future video for the, the fifth wheel gooseneck hitch with a turnover ball. So uh, subscribe to the channel for those uh, future videos, and uh, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Mm, everywhere. Careful. Welcome to Thrifty Garage. Mm-hmm. Noises. Oh,